Hey guys, it's Bren, and I'm here with a little bit of a Bath & Body Works candle haul, as well as I have a little bit of body care here, uh, the new Berry Waffle Cones. So we've got a few things to talk about. I know it's been a little bit since I've put out a video. That usually happens this time of year. There's just not a whole lot rolling out. So, you know, this is a hobby for me, so I don't try to push myself to put out a video every so often or you know if there's something that interests me I film it and I talk about it but I appreciate your patience because I know a lot of you have been like where's your next video you haven't posted it in a long time well now we finally have some things to talk about so I have four new candles and there's a couple others that I'll talk about that I smelled but I didn't pick up and then like I said uh, new body care so let's get into it um, the first collection that I want to talk about as far as the candles go uh, is this one right here with the nice tie-dyed labels um, and before I talk about this one that I have in my hand let's talk about the two that I didn't get so I did smell rainbow confetti in my opinion it's really just an exact repackage of cereal marshmallow bar I did not have you know this one in the store with me when I smelled the rainbow confetti but there's going on memory there was no discernible difference for me and cereal marshmallow bar, very similar to key lime pie, but less of that lime, of course. Maybe it's a little sweeter, a little bit more marshmallow, but it still gives off that fruity pebbles vibe. In fact, I think that one, I keep getting confused because I think that that one should be named cereal and cartoons because it smells so much like Fruit Loops or fruity pebbles. But anyway, yeah, I think it's just an exact repackage of cereal marshmallow bar. And if there is any little tiny minute difference that may just be due to this being a little older or just being a different batch that was poured or whatnot, I mean, really hardly any difference if there is. I'm going to say repackage on that one. So I didn't need to pick up rainbow confetti because I have a few cereal marshmallow bars left. Um, the other one that I smelled that I didn't get was cereal and cartoons, the one that's actually named that. And I'm really surprised with this one because it is so spicy, red hot cinnamon. And I just wouldn't expect that from a candle with that name. So it gives off that red hot thing like cinnamon and clove buds does. And that is not my thing at all. I really don't like red hot spice. Um, there's more going on. So it's not an exact repackage of like cinnamon clove buds or anything else. Because if you can smell past the spicy red hot, Underneath that, you do get like a really nice, I think, cinnamon toast crunch vibe. I think that's probably where the name comes from. Uh, so it smells like, you know, a sweet cinnamon and then a little bit of a bakery and like a milky scent. I mean, very similar to rum chata, which actually I think would be a really good candle. If you took out that red hot, what is left is, I think, great, but the red hot is just so dominant it's just i mean how can it not be you know that scent is so strong that i just assume when you burn it that has to take over i don't know how it couldn't and again red hot's not my thing but if it is yours uh i would be curious to hear your thoughts on the cereal and cartoons once you burn it because i do think what else was going on there was appealing but i just knew i'm not gonna be able to look past that red hot scent um okay now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about the one that I did get. So I did pick up Blue Raspberry Snow Cone here, and they actually didn't have this one out yet, even though they had the other two out. They said they were releasing this one today, but I was there on Monday, and today is Wednesday. Um, it's Blue Raspberry Syrup, Hint of Cherry, Scoop of Shaved Ice, whatever that smells like. I know everyone's been making that joke, but... Um, uh, I'm into this one. I like the, I actually like the packaging. I know the wraparound labels sometimes can be kind of eh, cheap looking, but I don't know. I like it because I think it's kind of festive. I have no need to pick up the actual 4th of July candles that they're releasing, the Firecracker Pop, uh, which I don't really like it. I didn't like it when I was Cherry Frost. And um, Warm Apple Pie, I do like, but I have plenty. So I appreciate that this one's kind of 4th of July-ish, I guess. And it has like that cute little snow cone on it. Um, and I kind of like that, you know, the label's really textured and whatever. I don't know. Um, but they were able to bring this one out of the back for me. So I, I have had it since Monday and I've burned it a little bit. And, you know... It is very similar to Raspberry Mimosa. I think it's a little different, but it's one of those situations where they've just taken an existing scent and tweaked it a little and called it something different. It's so darn close. So I have my, 
I have a raspberry mimosa here. You're going to laugh at me. I have one that's burned in a jar, uh, but since that one's been burned, it wasn't great for comparison. Here's my other raspberry mimosa. It was one that came broken, <laughs> and so I kept it. It's unburned so that when I use up my other one, I could just put this in the jar. But I was using this for comparison. And before I burned the blue raspberry snow cone, I really took some time and just like back and forth, like... Is there a difference? What is the difference? Just real, I really spent some time comparing these two. Roscoe, what are you doing making all that noise? What is that? Oh, you don't want that. He was trying to eat a little piece of plastic that broke off of a floor lamp that I brought down to give me some light for filming. Anyway, um, wouldn't be a video for me if my dogs weren't like all around and everywhere, right? Um, I think the difference between raspberry mimosa and the blue raspberry snow cone, very slight difference, but if anything, the blue raspberry one is a little bit sweeter. And that makes sense because I think of blue raspberries being a flavoring that is a sweetened up raspberry, um, you know, with blue food coloring added to it, obviously. Uh, and that comes through. So it's not a discrepancy that is odd. I mean, yeah, they sweetened up raspberry and called it blue raspberry, but the difference is so small. And I now that I've burned the blue raspberry, I feel like it's just a little bit lighter than raspberry mimosa. Like it's just like a weaker version. So I'm really not that impressed with it. I like it because it's cute, but it's not going to be a repurchase for me because I've got raspberry mimosa. And yeah, I mean, maybe if raspberry mimosa was like a little too tart, then maybe try this out if you still liked it, but you feel like maybe you'd like a little slightly sweeter version. But like, super close, like 90 to 95% the same. So, eh, I was kind of disappointed in that just because I was looking forward to something new. Um, I like blue, blue raspberry stuff, but yeah, it's basically raspberry mimosa. Okay, moving on to this collection here. Um, I have to be careful with this one because I just put it out, so it's still solidifying. Um, but I got three candles from this collection, and this one is ice cream bar. And the notes are glazed chocolate wafer, vanilla ice cream, graham cracker crunch. And this candle, I was, I liked it on cold. In fact, it, oh, there comes the light, the sun. <laughs> um, I actually burned this one first when I first got home. I was excited to burn it. You know, I don't know how I feel about it. It's definitely not ice cream shop. Ice cream shop has that like summer boardwalk, like really sweet buttery scent to it. It's not like that. Um, I know that Tina D. Delicious compared it to banana split milkshake. Um, honestly, it's not a comparison I would have come up with, but I see where he's coming from. Like if you took the banana away from this and just focused on just what's left, just the vanilla with a little bit of chocolate. Yeah. Okay. I can see that. But that one's so banana and I really don't get any banana from ice cream bar. When I burned it, it actually reminded me a lot of toasted coconut s'mores, but just imagine it without coconut, <laughs> like same graham cracker vibe though, I think, same vanilla. I don't know, ice cream bar to me mostly smells just like a creamy vanilla scent with a little bit of chocolate, kind of. Like maybe I'm sort of getting graham cracker, but not too much. I don't have chocolate grams because I'm not really into chocolate candles that much. I think he's got another piece of plastic. <sighs> One day I'll hit the lottery and I'll buy real equipment and have like a ring light that not like a floor lamp that's falling apart. <laughs> But anyway, um, ice cream bar to me, it's mostly vanilla, a little bit of chocolate, maybe some graham, like I was saying. It's very basic though. It's very just plain to me. It kind of feels like, like, because it does smell like a Bath and Body Works candle. It smells like a lot of other candles. Like this is the base that they use for other candles. Um, like if you added coconut to it, it would be like the toasted coconut s'mores. If you add a banana to it, it would be like banana split milkshake. And it made me think of how this brewery near me, um, they always put out like fruited sour beers. And so they'll have like a peach sour and then they'll have like a raspberry sour. And they even have had like apple cinnamon sour beer. And then one time they just released the straight sour and they called it hold the fruit. And they were like, this is just our base sour. We're not adding anything to it. And we're just releasing it the base. That is what 
ice cream bar is <laughs> for me. I feel like it's so similar to other things. You could add a bunch of stuff to it, but as it is, it's just like a very basic kind of sweet. Like when it's burning, I'm just like, it's just sweetness kind of. I don't know. Um, it was more boring for me burning than it was on cold sniff. I don't think it's a repurchase for me because of that. Uh, but it's okay. Like, I don't hate it or anything. I'm, I'm going to keep this one, but I'm not that excited about it. Um, let's move on. So I also got from that collection Juicy Pink Grapefruit. And this one is Sugared Pink Grapefruit, Juicy Peach, and Fresh Mango Blossoms. And so I've had a few grapefruit scents from them over the years. I had pomelo grapefruit from the fresh picked collection way 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 back but I don't have that anymore and I don't really remember it but the one that I really wanted to compare this to was golden grapefruit golden grapefruit is from 2016 like this one was actually poured in 2015 but at the very end of it so I do believe that this was an early 2016 release and this was a White Barn exclusive. So if you remember way back then, um, there were Bath and Body Works stores, but then there were also White Barn stores and they were different because you could go to one mall and they'd have both stores like in different areas of the mall. And the White Barn, you could use Bath and Body Works coupons there and it was Bath and Body Works candles, but it was just home fragrance. And then they had more like accessories and candle holders and things like that. They were really nice stores. Um, now they have combined, they don't have separate white barns anymore but back then they had white barn exclusive candles and so a collection would come out and there'd be like a couple that you could only get if you went to a white barn I drove 90 minutes to go to the closest like white barn a few times to get these this actually came out the same time that the very first midnight blue citrus came out so and then that one was also a white barn exclusive but it did so well that now it comes out all the time constantly repackaged whatever but golden grapefruit I don't think it's come out since then and I had two unburned ones until today. And for this video, I lit one up. It was really tough. I was like, oh man, because you know, I don't think I can ever get one, but I'm like, I have two. One should be to burn. And this is the reason I have old candles, research. Uh, but I had to burn them both because I just couldn't tell from burning juicy pink grapefruit if it was a repackage of golden grapefruit or not. I have come to the conclusion now that I have burned both that it's like 85% the same, but the difference is Juicy Pink Grapefruit is just more fresher, brighter, and sweet, and Golden Grapefruit is like Juicy Pink Grapefruit's like dark emo cousin or something. It's just a little bit like rougher, darker, maybe a little bit more bitter, definitely less bright. Um, and to tell you the truth, I, I'm, there might be a little nostalgia bias here going on. You know, I admit that I've been around the candle community long enough that sometimes I'm partial towards like older scents because, you know, nostalgia. But I like the Golden Grapefruit better. I just feel like it's more different. It's more complex. It's a little more mature. But really, they're 85% the same. So if you haven't smelled Golden Grapefruit or any of their other grapefruit scents, and you just want to know, well, what does this smell like? It is very much grapefruit. I don't even know if I'm getting like peach, maybe mango, like, like maybe, but it's, it's grapefruit and it is a little bit sweet, but it's still really sour. And when it was burning, it was mostly giving off a sour vibe. If you don't like sour candles, you're probably going to want to stay away from this one. It is not like a candied sweet grapefruit. It's, it is juicy. They they have added like, like I said, some brightness to it and a little bit of sweetness. But I think if you like grapefruit and you don't mind sour stuff and sour candles and sour smells, then maybe you would enjoy it. It burned pretty similar to how it smells on cold. So, you know, check it out. It was, it was pretty medium strength. And honestly, all of these so far, the blue raspberry too, and the ice cream bar, all kind of just medium strength and throw. Um, okay. Last candle I got was Kiwi Starfruit Cooler. This one is Starfruit, Kiwi Seltzer, Splash of Guava Juice, Lemon Garnish. And it is different for sure than Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit, which I have here. Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit, they are similar. Um, Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit, though, 
really sour. One of the most sour candles uh, that they have. It, it smells like like sour taste. I almost said taste. It smells like sour candy, you know, that kind of thing. Kiwi Star Fruit Cooler. I really get the guava, I feel like. It's been a long time since I've had a star fruit, but there's certain, so I don't know about that, maybe, but I definitely feel like I do get guava. This is a very sweet, tropical type of scent. Whereas like Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit has like pineapple in it and it's really acidic. Uh, the kiwi star fruit, star fruit kiwi, no, it is kiwi star fruit. <laughs> this one here, the green one, um, is sweeter. It's not acidic the way that Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit is, but it's still pretty tart when it's burning. But I do get the guava, so it's kind of just this like slightly tart tropical fruit type of scent. Um, it's definitely like tropical. It for sure takes you there. It feels a little bit more unique than just like their standard like mango and pineapple type of candles. Like there is something different going on here, but it's not like too far-fetched or crazy different from so many of the other fruit candles that they do. But I think it's fine. It's a one and done for me, but I don't mind it. And I like Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit too. So it's really just, you know, what am I in the mood for? But Definitely different, but like in the same category, I would say. That one also, pretty medium throw. None of these were super strong. You could smell all of them. I actually thought Ice Cream Bar would be stronger. It wasn't that strong. So overall with the candles, I mean, get ready to hit the thumbs down because when I don't like candles, people always don't like the video, even though I'm just being honest. I don't dislike any of these. I don't love any of these. You know, I, I much more enjoyed like Ice Blueberry Biscotti and the Coconut Cream Pie this year. Like I really liked those. So it's not like Bath Body Works isn't putting out candles that I like anymore, but I do feel like I'm at a point in my candle collecting and I've been doing this for so long that everything that they put out reminds me of something else. I can always <laughs> compare it to an older scent. It's hard to impress me now, I guess, is what I'm saying, because I've been around so long. I've smelled many candles over the years. I have many candles. Uh, and they, they rarely put out anything that's truly, truly new. So I don't know. But again, I, I don't mind any of these. They might excite someone who's new to Bath & Body Works and new to their candles more, though, because for me, all of them, I feel like there are other ones that I like better, or they're just too similar to other ones. But whatever, you know, you win some, you lose some. But... Let's end on a positive note. Uh, let's talk about the new body care. So I just grabbed a couple things. I think when they do a buy three, get three, I'm gonna go and get more stuff. But I got both of these with rewards that I had from the rewards program. Um, I will say I, the only two that were really for me were the berry waffle cone and the grapefruit rosé. And I do like the grapefruit. I think when I go back, I'll probably just pick up like a lotion in that or something. I do wanna get a little bit of it. But I am very impressed with the Berry Waffle Cone Body Care. I really actually like it, and I, I didn't know if I would. Um, it doesn't smell exactly like the candle. It You can tell it's based on the candle, but there are some differences. So I got a cream, and then I also got this Cleansing Body Mousse, and it's interesting. I wanna talk more about this and the form in a minute, but just talking about the scent first of the body care. Uh, I really am getting like, three different stages from this body care when I use it. I put it on, it smells like one thing, then it kind of changes and then it ends up as another. So when I first put it on, I feel like this smells more like a berry waffle cone, like an actual like waffle cone with berry ice cream in it, than the candle berry waffle cone does. Berry Waffle Cone, the candle has always, I've always said it smells more like an apple crisp, maybe with a little bit of berry in it, but I've never got an ice cream vibe from it. I've never got like really vanilla in it. It's more like a cinnamon sugar apple berry thing to me. Whereas the body care here, I definitely do get like a cool ice cream vibe and it does smell like berry ice cream. And then I can totally imagine like a waffle cone and I still feel like there's this hint of like cinnamon, which I don't really think of as being part of a waffle cone, but I'll take it. I'll accept it. Um, after it dries down a little bit for me, it's it, it kind of reminds me a little bit. Like it has something in common with Santa's blueberry shortbread and also raspberry jam donut. And those two, the blueberry, the raspberry, uh, they were very, very similar to one another. 
Um, this is not as similar, Berry Waffle Cone isn't, to those two as those two were to each other. But I still think that there's some kind of like similarity going on. Like there's got to have be some similar notes, maybe a similar base or something between the Berry Waffle Cone and the Raspberry Jam Donut and Santa's Blueberry Shortbread. There's something, something that happens that kind of reminds me. It's like sort of the berry scent kind of reminds me. I don't know. And then after it's completely dried down, like if I'm smelling my hand like 20 minutes later, I feel like that crust note comes through more and it turns more into like a cinnamony sugar crust. The berry, the vanilla kind of fades after a little bit, but the cinnamon sugar crust thing sticks around. I like it because I like all three of those stages. I none, It never smells bad. It smells really good, but it does kind of change, at least with my body chemistry, but I enjoy all, you know, all of the moments. <laughs> uh, and so I will definitely be picking up some more of this. But talking about this cleansing body mousse, I actually was asking the sales associates like, so what is this? How does it work? Does it actually clean you? I wasn't sure. I took a chance on it because I could use a reward, but it is $16.50, which is the most you can use a reward on. Uh, and uh, you know, it's a novelty product. <laughs> I'll say that. It's kind of fun, kind of fun to play with, but I don't know how useful it actually is or how much you actually get in here. Um, if you just tap it, you just, a ton comes out. If you want to see it, you can see it on Bath and Body Works Instagram. They posted about it on Instagram today uh, and they said it works great as a moisturizer and a shaving cream. And I was like, okay, I, that I guess I can see, but it says cleansing body mousse. So I thought you could actually use it to like clean yourself, like instead of like a shower gel. But I tried that today and I did not feel clean. Like after I used it, first of all, even though you get like a huge poof of it when you tap it, uh, it didn't like spread very far. You know, I, I had to keep using it. And then I didn't really, it wasn't sudsing up or acting like soap. So it didn't seem like, imagine washing your body with shaving cream. Like it doesn't really seem like it's a cleaning you. I think they're right. I think it would be a really good shaving cream though, but like expensive shaving cream, right? Like, I mean, 1650 shaving cream. So I don't, like I said, it's a novelty product. It's kind of fun. I, I don't know how actually like practical it is though. Uh, but you know, I'm, I'm probably not going to buy it again. I don't mind that I bought this one. That's how I feel about that. Uh, but I like the scent a lot. I like the grapefruit rosé. Uh, and yeah, that's all I have to talk about right now. <laughs> so hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts on these products below, what you're going to pick up. And uh, don't forget semi-annual sale is coming up. So if they don't do a buy three, get three before then, um, I'll probably be picking up body care at SAS. I don't know. We'll see. That's in about a month. Um, but anyway, in the meantime, stay tuned for more videos and you can follow me on Instagram at candles and music. Uh, thanks again. I'll see you all later. Bye.